President Obama, of course, has repeatedly promised to tackle the nation's long-term debt. Today, we should find out how he plans to do that. The federal deficit continues to grow. As you know, it is expected to top $1.5 trillion this year. Last week, Republicans announced how they would cut it. Now it is the president's turn. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has a preview for us this morning of Mr. Obama's proposal. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica. That's right. The president jumps into the fight today. He'll preview his vision of a smaller federal government to members of Congress from both parties in an Oval Office meeting before his speech. The president today will call for a bipartisan effort to reduce the deficit, focusing on four main areas, defense budget savings, reducing health care spending, reforming the tax code, and keeping domestic spending low. In part, uh, Mr. Obama will borrow from recommendations of, of the independent Simpson-Bowles uh, Deficit the Reduction Commission the and also from dollars. the work of the so-called Gang of Six, three senators from each party who've been working on a deficit reduction strategy which includes rewriting the tax code. The Senate Republican leader suggested that President Obama was late getting in the game. But those on the left and right who have been clamoring for presidential leadership on these issues have to welcome the president's long-awaited decision to engage on them. But the president's delay was deliberate. He waited until Congressman Paul Ryan put the Republican plan on the table. That proposal envisions slashing the deficit by $6 trillion over the next decade by making Medicare a voucher program and putting caps on Medicaid, food stamp assistance, and housing assistance programs while reducing taxes for the very wealthy and for corporations. The White House says the GOP plan is dead on arrival. It places all the burden on the middle class, on seniors, on the disabled, on people in nursing homes. The president's goal today is to appear as the voice of reason and to set the stage for the next big debate, which is going to be over raising the federal debt limit, something the Republicans say they won't vote for unless there are more big spending cuts. Erica? Bill, plan for us this morning. Bill, thanks.